the first five weeks of opening three clubs has been everything we hoped for and a whole lot more. Definitely not what we expected. There was a lot of things that were unexpected, but they're positive things. Our growth has been moving a lot faster than we thought it was going to be. Basically, within a few weeks, we were at where we thought we'd be after a year or two. It just shows to me that there's, there's a huge demand for this type of establishment in communities. I'm Matt Glazier, I'm part owner of Three Dogs Brewing. I'm Pam, part owner of Three Dogs Brewing. I'm Scott Keddy, president of Three Dogs Brewing here in White Rock. My dream of owning a brewery started when we were looking for a lifestyle business here in our community. We'd been home brewing, doing beer competitions and, and doing well. All our friends were liking our beers and suggesting that we we should be selling it. We said, you know, we can do this. In, in September of last year, uh, we started the process of incorporating a company, starting the paperwork with uh, the liquor board, obtaining a space, doing the renovations, and then starting our brews, getting ready for opening. That whole process probably took 13 months. Three dogs were originally from our three dogs, Maggie, Jake and Bailey. Going through this process, I've quickly realized that three dogs are myself, Scott and Matt. We have worked like three dogs to get this place up and running. Just being able to spend all day, all night chatting to people and showcasing our beer, something we made. I can't imagine a better retirement job. It's a dream come true. It's nice to make something that you kind of aren't really sure about and then having other people try it. And when people are usually trying craft beers and they see a double IPA or a crazy amber ale, they're always kind of hesitant at first and then they take that sip and they're just like, holy, this is the best beer I've ever had. Or, you know, it's, it's nice to see people that you know and have grown up with in the community enjoying your product. One of the keys to the success is, has been able to, to make good beer. Frankly, you know, if you didn't make a good product, people aren't going to come back. Bruja uh, was instrumental in this business. It doesn't take a lot of permanent infrastructure to be able to get up and brewing. We literally unpacked and set everything up, and had it not been for other delays, we could have been brewing the same week. I had a lot of familiarity with the smaller BIAC brewha systems in our home brewery. It allowed us to develop a lot of beers and recipes that were so simple to scale up at that point. We simply just took what we were doing before, multiplied it by the volume, and we're cranking out top quality beers off the hop. It's the right tool for anybody that wants to make good quality, consistently good beer. My vision for Three Dogs Brewing is being met right now. Our vision to begin with was to, to have a place where the community would embrace, want to come, enjoy their time. All of the staff, everyone here, wants to know about who's coming in. We're finding out that a lot of people have been told by friends. There's a lot of people coming back bringing their friends, and then their friends bring other friends. One of the keys to success is just, is people. We're in the community. There's not many people that are coming through the doors now that we don't know. This is a place where you come and talk and, and bring your friends and play games. I grew up playing games. It was around talking and knowing each other. It's a reason to get out of the house and go, hey, let's go play some crib or hey, let's go play Jenga down at Three Dogs. It's nice to have a place like this. People live in little walled off houses and cells, they come here and they meet the person next door. And that's something that doesn't happen normally. It's too easy to stay in your shell and not connect with people. And this is a place of connection.